All right, guys, it's a bit of an update video. Sorry about the quality. The uh, GoPro is playing up at the moment, so I'm going to have to use my mobile phone. Let me just wipe the uh, lens a bit. One sec. Okay. Right. Um, the other video was taken down for some odd reason. I don't know why, but I'll re-upload it, the one where I walk around the car, which obviously most people have seen. But, um, so what have I been doing? Uh, well, I've used it. That was, what was it? That video was taken last winter, probably about this time. Um, just after that video was done, the head gasket decided to blow. So I went along and just obviously rechanged the head gasket. But I actually changed the head as well because I, I wasn't quite au fait with that engine at the time. Uh, well, at least the cylinder head anyway. There's something just went right. It was bubbling in the water and everything from the get go. So changed the head, everything fine. Um, yeah, used it all summer. Drove all around the country basically, down to retro rides, gathering. Um, down at Shazley Walsh or something like that, whatever it's pronounced. Brilliant show, by the way. If you're in the UK, you want to hit that up in August, bank holiday. Um, yeah, so I went to that and then afterwards took a trip down to Exmouth Devon Cliffs with a family in it. And you know what? It never missed a beat, which is kind of expected for a Mazda engine car, really, anyway, because they're brilliant engines. Um, so, yeah, and then probably like, it's just after it's just after the new year now. And I thought, you know what, let's get back on this supercharger thing. So basically, we well, we started this, gosh, over a year ago when the previous engine decided to blow. And uh, yeah, sort of continued on with it. And now I've hopefully perfected it. So yeah, that's basically what you get now. It's a Mercedes C-Class Eaton Charger. So it's just the same as the Eaton M45 that most MX-5 owners bolt onto the side of their cars, except... It's mounted in a different way in terms of the outlet on it is a little bit different because it's not the same as what comes off a Mini. Apart from that, I've decided to copy a certain pulley system that was online that I noticed people were saying for 200 odd quid, but I'm cheap, so I made it myself. And yeah, yeah, it's, it's getting there. I mean, to be honest, it runs and drives. It boosts. It's only getting about, I think it's about 2, either 2 bar, 2 PSI, whichever, I can't remember. Um... And you notice it do it, you notice it kick in, but I've got a couple of boost leaks, which is the reason why it's all stripped down at the moment. So I'm just sorting out a piece of the pipe work. It was, I've basically used some um, recycled mandrel bends. Basically, I bought them online. They were going to be thrown um, unless there's someone bought them, really. So I've just used it stainless steel, but of course, it requires me to TIG weld them up together. And I've not quite perfected TIG welding yet. Um, I'm getting there. I'm getting MIG welding's fine, but yeah, TIG welding not quite perfected. So yeah, so recycling basically. Um, things you'll probably notice that have changed the engine bay, apart from the whacking great supercharger, is the mounts for the intercooler that has now moved. Hopefully this camera will pick it up. Down into the depths of there, you see. So it's in a better place because I found that it was just restricting the flow of air to that radiator even before it was supercharged. Um, yeah, so it's pretty much everything else the same, uh, apart from obviously that contraption. We've got a, like I say, C-Class Mercedes supercharger mounted at the back there, um, which is really just a stabilising and adjustment bolt. Um, it's mounted at the front, which bolts to the side of the block, but also you probably can't see it, but there is a steel bar that is sort of elongated, that goes sort of down to the very bottom of the block, right where there's two bolters, which are the original MX-5 engine mounts used to go into. And basically that's holding the support up to the top of the supercharger. So she's mounted in three places, which is a heck of a lot more than what some people do. I mean, they just whack them in and just put two on it and that's it. Um, it ain't going anywhere. It's 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 literally, it's, it's, it's solid as a rock. I mean, it rocks with the engine, so that's definitely not going anywhere. Um, I'm using, because it's just easy as a guide, I'm using the power steering pump as a guide for the belts. It's just it's a nightmare if you especially when you're making these kits from scratch. Um it's just a nightmare to to get them to line up and everything. So that actually helps with me lining up all the pulleys and whatnot. And it has worked. I mean I was throwing belts like you wouldn't believe to start off with, but I've just got it perfected. So touch wood, we should all be uh, okay with that. Um the only downside to that is obviously I am not got I am not using MX5 power steering rack or anything like that because it's an MG, you don't need it. Yes, sod it. You just drive faster and it turns easier. Um, which means that there's no oil in that pump, which is not particularly great. So, another guy from the uh, club did kindly donated the power steering rack, which is not going to be used, but all the power steering pipe work 
So, in the best part about it is, is that little reservoir there, which obviously I, in hindsight, decided to throw away when I took the um, scrap the MX5 from, well, when it donated all its bits to this. So, yeah, so what I've got to do is somehow just make a recirculation reservoir for that one pump. It's a bit of extra weight, and it's a bit of a ball ache, really, to be honest, just for that. But I find that pulley is fantastic, and it's, like I say, it's all in line, it's factory. It's it's about as factory as the engine is, and that's about it. About everything else is just all mounted and made as we sort of went along. Uh, what else has changed? Heat is now installed. Not pretty uh, great, really, to be honest. I mean, it's an MG heater bolted to the normal uh, water outlets on the MX-5. Uh, some water uh, pipe changes, um, but the massive, massive big change is the ECU. It used to have the ECU Master Depth 3 installed. Uh, which is fantastic, don't get me wrong, absolutely brilliant piece of kit if you're wanting a piggyback type of device. Um, brilliant, You, I mean, it, it drove fantastic on it all year. But I wanted a bit more, um, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to invest. So I invested in, drum roll please, the Motorsport Electronics ME221. I hear all you mega squirt people going, boo. Yeah, I know, I know, it's not a mega squirt, great, shoot me, I don't care. To be honest... If you go on the MX-5 forums, people are complaining constantly about these two ECUs. Oh, one's better than the other. No, they're, they're practically exactly the same. Who cares? If you pick one, it's Apple or Android. Who cares? Just pick one and use it. Don't bitch because the other one's not got whatever feature or it's got, we did it first. Who cares? I don't care. But people, I just thought, you know what, I'm going to go. It's a British-made uh, device. I'm going to give my money to uh, guys in the UK anyway. Uh, but you can get these things in the US. So if anybody from the US is watching... You can get them as well, but you can run it as a stock ECU as well. There's a stock base map. If you have problems, let me know and I'll uh, I'll send you a stock base map, which I actually got for the Motorsport Electronics people, but I need to make some tweaks to it because it just wasn't quite right, uh, mainly with starting up and stuff. Um, yeah, so yeah, that I mean, ECU or just over £500. Yeah, it was quite expensive, but when it comes to boosting and everything, supercharged, turbocharged, whatever, you want throttle bodies, this thing will do it. And it, it just looks nicer than there. And mega squirt to be honest yeah okay i'm picking android over it apple great but yeah that's my choice so uh yeah anyway there should be a uh, well hopefully after i've done this i'm putting all this back together now and um there will be after this video obviously there will be a uh, driving video with it on some sort of boost uh probably not much to be honest because like i say it's at the moment it's not quite not quite right i mean i've got to change injectors yet so yeah, i'll be running very very low boost until i change the injectors uh so it's, I mean, I've limited the engine right back to about 6,000 RPM, just so I don't ridiculously lean out right at the top end, uh, just to be safe. Because you know what, this this summer season, got car on summer season, the car season's about to kick in. I don't really want to kill this thing right now, because I don't really want to be buying another engine and putting it in, because I'm sick of changing the engine this thing. But uh, but yeah, apart from that, it's 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 all sorted. Um, so yeah, just check out the next video in a bit and you'll uh, see that it's driving and hopefully I don't blow up on that video. <laughs> anyway, check you guys later. Cheers. Bye-bye. Okay guys, I don't know if you can hear this, um, but it's the first drive on the supercharger. Uh, it's mapping itself at the moment, so it's, it's not great, but I'm just going to give it a bit of a kick now and just see. You might get to pick up some of the wine and everything. Um, yeah, anyway.